Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Um, today I will continue the story um, from Pina Mungahan after I left what happened. So actually before I left when we were together in Pina Mungahan the last two weeks she found uh, a Korean man um, who offered her help um, to find a work to work in a restaurant because the Taiwanese man he is a businessman and he is expert about restaurants and he was willing to help her um, get on her feet find a job and so on um, I accepted it that she was going with this man sometimes and I think this man had already a girlfriend I'm not sure or she had another female Filipina friends uh, with them together and she met this um, man because I think there was a time that um, she wanted to work in the bake shop and from Pinamungahan and she did not work but she found friends there and with those friends she found this Taiwanese man and that was not uh, cheating she told me about this and so on and I accepted this so that I had the hope that maybe she will leave me and stay with this man that was my hope but uh, she did not she was uh, always loyal she just um, wanted to have uh, a connection with this man for uh, trying to help me with the finances because she could not help me in Pinamungahan I had to pay all by myself and uh, with his help um, she wanted uh, to have an opportunity to earn money and so that she can help me again so and so later on after I left and she was crying alone in her room in my apartment then I think she called the Taiwanese man then he came to her and um, he helped her he brought her um, I'm not sure I, uh, he came there and then he told me by chatting that Jarine is very sad she when he went in the room she was laying in the bed crying and holding my shirt and um, she also told her friends or asking her friends in the bake shop if they saw me or told the story that I left so and one of those friends in the bake shop they had a, she had a connection to her family from Jairin so one of her friends uh, was texting her family in Oslo that I left and when the parents heard this they immediately went in the bus going to Oslo uh, to Pinamungahan and then uh, they um, like kidnapped or forced Jairin to go home because the friend would show where she lives and then they went to our apartment, forced her to go home, took all, all my clothes, my suitcase, everything that I had with them. So then she was back in Oslo with her family. Um, and from there she was chatting me again that she is back in Oslo. I was already in later that time. And, um, I was sad for her that she was back in Oslo because that was not my intention that she would go
go back there because I know how bad her life was there. I was hoping that she will stay with the Taiwanese man and um, building her career in the restaurant business that he has. And then what she did next is she was chatting with the Taiwanese man when she was in Oslo with her family and with him she was making another escape plan that she would she did escape again at night from her family and took the bus going back to Cebu and then to Pinamungahan and then she met that Taiwanese man again and she stayed with him and he gave her a um, traineeship or um, he brought her to his restaurant where she could learn the job so that was a good man he was not his intention was not um, to have a relationship with her so he really was also feeling pity for her so he helped her as well and every day she was working there earning money with him and then together day two have been chatting with me the man asked me that I should uh, come back to her that she changed she is now a better person she is focusing her work to be a good cook or waitress or whatever and she apologized to me what she did to me and so on but I always my reply were always negative I told the man what happened and that she is crazy and I don't want to see her again and I said I just stay with her and help her and or I said um, maybe she will do the same to you someday um, so I did not give any chance even they both wanted me to come back and then someday um, she gave up and um, then we stopped talking and then a few weeks later um, she found a Filipino man and with this Filipino man she got pregnant and started her family and then I think this man was from Cebu city and then later on she got pregnant again that's what I saw I saw in the Facebook pictures that she has two child with this Filipino man and I saw also pictures with her and the child in Oslo so maybe she is still visiting her family sometimes I'm not sure but that could be so and I think until today she is still with this Filipino man so maybe it was not her um, destiny to be with a foreigner maybe with the Filipino man she doesn't have a lot of arguments maybe he is always at work busy he is not watching youtube where beautiful girls could be in the video he's just going out earning money coming home then sleep so that there is no reason to be jealous for her no arguments it's very sad because i really wanted um, to be with her I even wanted to marry her I teach her my language she was speaking already German a little bit she was understanding German she was also very um, focused in learning German even many hours I forced her to learn but she I really uh, wanted it also Mm, yeah, but at the end what we learn from this you cannot change a person if the person has 
some problems from the past mental problems jealousy problems it doesn't matter how nice she can be in the good days or how beautiful she is like a model at the end it's not worth it so uh, that's the story of Jairin I hope you enjoyed and you learned something about it and yeah that's all for today see you in the next video bye